Hello everyone, how are we all doing? Today I'm talking transitional essentials. I was going to film on autumn essentials but I don't feel like it's quite autumn yet to be talking about some of the essentials that I would wear in autumn. So I thought I would do a little like transitional essentials because there's quite a few items that I literally gravitate towards this time of year when we get out of summer and we go into that like slightly more dull English weather which we get most of the time um and they're items I'm always gravitating towards so I thought I would share them with you guys in case you're like looking to add something new to your wardrobe or potentially you just don't know what to wear right now maybe this will help I don't know um so yeah I'm gonna jump straight in and start with the good old classic trench coat now trench coats are something that i absolutely love because they always come back in fashion so if you buy one now you're going to wear it for years to come i think i got this maybe a year or two ago i always get questions on it um it's from h&m it's just a really classic simple trench but it was really affordable when i got it and i was like oh my god this is amazing um a trench is just great because you can throw it on with like a summer dress and sandals or trainers or whatever or you can wear it with like a jumper layered underneath and jeans and trousers and stuff like that so it's a really good piece if you're like it's not warm enough to not wear a jacket but it's not cold enough to need a coat this is the perfect kind of jacket and the best thing is you can get the most wear out of it if you buy one now because we're going into september you can wear it probably all the way until potentially november time before it starts getting cold cold so love a trench this one like i said is from h&m if i can link one similar i'll link it below i don't know if i've seen any that are currently live on the high street stores yet but i do love a good old trench i've also got a really nice one from asos and it's nice just to have different styles as well so you can switch it up depending on what you're wearing so i love a good old trench the next one is something that you probably would have already guessed and that is a good old trusty white tee a white tee is great at this time of year because you can layer it under your trench, you can layer it under any jacket, you can also wear it on its own, you can wear something underneath it if you wanted to keep a little bit more warm, didn't want to wear a jacket. You could also um, just layer it over or under a dress if you wanted to do like a dress and a t-shirt look. Really good piece to have at this time of year where it's still kind of a little bit warm but it's not like that warm, it's kind of cold. Really good piece to have and I love a white tee, can't go wrong. This t-shirt I've actually had for a really long time. Um, it probably is verging to the point of not being quite wearable for day to day use. You know like when you get makeup stained on them or like tan. Yeah but I love a good old white tee. I'll link something as similar as I can to this. I usually go for a boxy tee um, but I actually have about 15 white tees and they all are slightly different so Next I'm going for a pair of shoes because I've got to switch it up. My Doc Martens, it was kind of inevitable that I was going to mention these. Um, just recently did a styling video if you haven't already seen it, I'll link it below. Um, these bad boys are probably the one thing that I'm most excited to wear this season because they're just so cool. And I love wearing Doc Martens, I just think they edge up any outfit. Um, if you watch my styling video you'll know because I genuinely said they edge up every outfit when I did the styling video. <laughs> um, but I love these, I actually pulled these on a night out the other day so that's why they look a tiny bit not so nice. Um, but yeah, I love them. I think you can't go wrong with a chunky boot. You don't need to spend the money on docks, you could literally get any chunky boot. There are so many chunky boots coming out and I'm here for it, I'm so here for it. Any chunky boot, a tall chunky boot as well. I wore some tall chunky boots out last night and they're just so cool. They just really make you feel quite edgy but they're a great way if you get a tall chunky boot of still wearing dresses and stuff because they keep your legs warm. And if you do have a pair already that you haven't really like worn much, maybe got them at the end of last year, get them out now because I genuinely think if you want to get the wear out of them, you've got to start now because soon as the minute it gets freezing, those boots are not going on. <laughs> so yeah, love those, love a chunky boot, can't beat them. Next is one of my favorite pieces of all time, a good pair of jeans. Now these are the weekday row jeans. If you follow me on Instagram, you will know I absolutely live in these. They're my favorite jeans. I actually intend on buying some more because I really like them. I just think they look cool. I've got three pairs. I've got this lovely like light wash blue color. I'll obviously link them all below. I'm currently wearing the black ones. You can't see, but I'm wearing the black ones. Um, I love them. They're just so comfortable. They fit nicely. They're just like a long baggy straight jean and I'm here for it. And I just think they look really cool with trainers, boots, everything. 
here for it, love them. Um, and they're so comfortable and they're not too expensive and they last a long time as well. I've had these for a while and I freaking love them. So good old trusty pair of jeans, you can't go wrong. Um, obviously choose a pair of jeans that suits you, you don't need these jeans, but if you're looking for a new pair of jeans, I highly recommend. Next is something that I've definitely been wearing a lot recently, which is why I thought I'd include it. Another jacket. It's my leather jacket from Misguided. This jacket, I kid you not, is probably one of my favourites. It doesn't feel cheap. It's this really lovely, like, soft faux leather, which I think when you find a good soft faux leather, it's amazing. Um, and this one's from Misguided, as I said. They do still sell this, so I will link it below. Um, I have mine in a size 10, um, and I just like it kind of being oversized. I got it in a size 10, so I can wear jumpers over it. No under it <laughs> you're not wearing a jumper over this um because like when it does get a bit cooler and you do need more layers but it's not cold enough for a coat um you really want to be able to wear jumpers underneath so that's why i have it in a size 10 but i do love this jacket it goes with everything i've worn it on evenings out i've worn it to a festival i've worn it just casually like with a pair of jeans i've worn it with a skirt it's like a really good versatile piece and it's because it's slightly longer lined you could wear it with like a dress or whatever and it just kind of gives a very cool edgy vibe but also if you don't like showing your or whatever also a very useful piece to have um so i'll link it below they do actually have quite a few different styles on misguided that look a little bit different but this one in particular is beautiful i love it um okay next we are talking sweatshirts now again you guys know i love a sweatshirt sweatshirts are probably one of my weaknesses alongside jeans um, and shoes at this point um and i just thought i'd include one because sweatshirts are a really good way of um having that warmth when it's cooler but it's not as thick as like a knitted jumper i love a knitted jumper but it's way too early for a knitted jumper at this point i think it's definitely a kind of light jumper maybe a light knit or a sweatshirt kind of thing i mean i'll probably be wearing sweatshirts all through winter as well but i just you just can't go wrong with a sweatshirt or a hoodie they're just cozy, comfortable, casual. I love a casual look. Um, and this one's just my Anine Bing one, which I have shown you guys before. Any sweatshirt does the trick. Um, you could go for like a really oversized one, or you could do one that's a little bit more fitted. I love an oversized sweatshirt with like a pair of baggy jeans and a pair of trainers. Oh, that's such a good look. Definitely going to be doing that soon. Um, but yeah can't be a sweatshirt good piece to have especially when it's cooler or potentially if you're like just wearing a dress and you want something a little bit warmer but you don't want to wear a jacket a sweatshirt is a good way to go for that one another pair of shoes are a good old trusty pair of trainers now i love me a pair of trainers as you guys do know we'll actually be doing a trainer collection very very soon because I have just become so obsessed with trainers recently and like I just I'm, I just love them I think that's something I'm just really passionate about at the moment just really like trainers um and I have so many and I haven't recently bought a new pair as well so I'm waiting for those to come before I do the trainer video but um these are a pair of Axel Arigatos I think that's how you say it um and they're just chunky trainers I think chunky trainers are really good I always do this whenever I hold train like shoes, I always almost drop them. Um, Tranky trainers are a really, really good piece to have because they just add a bit more of something exciting to a look. If you're wearing like a pair of jeans and a t-shirt, a pair of chunky trainers just kind of gives a bit more like a, a bit more edge, a little bit more coolness, a little bit more cool girl, you know? Um, and these ones are really cool. They're a little bit more affordable than the Balenciaga ones. These ones are 200 pounds Balenciaga ones are like 600 so if you're wanting to get that chunky trainer still have that kind of expensive touch maybe something that's a little bit more like higher end but not too expensive I recommend these trainers they're honestly amazing I literally can't wait to wear them also they're very similar to the New Balance dad trainers you know the ones that everyone has but obviously these are more expensive than those ones but they're really hard to get hold of so if you're looking for something similar these are definitely that kind of vibe um but i love these i just think they're really cool also wearing a pair of trainers right now i don't know why because i don't need to wear shoes when filming but i just needed it to complete my outfit i just felt better you know and they are my night dunks also another good pair of trainers to get another faux leather piece are these faux leather trousers i think faux leather trousers are great this time of year because you can just wear them with like a crop top or like some more summery kind of piece and then these and then you're probably okay you're not going to sweat or well, you might 
because leather trousers do make quite warm but you can get away with them and I'm just so excited to have leather trousers back like oh so excited because like leather trousers are just so cool and I love the way they look with like chunky docks or like even with trainers they're just cool and they just make me feel cool so yeah and these ones I did show in a previous video they're from Mango but they don't sell them anymore but I have found some similar ones on um, H&M so I'll link those below um, love a wide leg pair of leather trousers I just think they just add a bit more edge to your classic like straight leg or skinny leather trousers but saying that I actually do have a pair of skinny leather trousers like um leather leggings and i actually think they're quite good especially if you're wearing docks to tuck in when it's really really cold like winter vibes do you know what i mean um love me a leather trouser last clothing piece i have to share with you is a good old trusty blazer now blazers are literally each their own depends on what style you want color etc etc i've just pulled out my black blazer because for some reason this blazer is the one i'm most drawn to at the moment i just think it's quite a classic piece this is again an old piece this is from asos but they don't sell this exact one anymore i'll try my best to find a similar one um i think they do sell some other black blazers on there so i will link a blazer down below for you guys um this one's quite long it kind of almost is a dress it's not but it's almost there you know like it's quite long line i definitely want to get one that's a little bit shorter as well because sometimes like a long line blazer is just it's just too much and sometimes you just need a blazer that's like the perfect length um i do love this one though um i do recommend asos blazers i have a few of them and i think they're really good but a blazer in general great piece to layer over dresses wear with jeans really simple easy piece but they're not too thick so they're really good for these like slightly dull not so warm days but can sometimes be a bit muggy do you know what i mean like the other day i went into central um central london and i was wearing jeans and a little white crop top and had a blazer on and i actually ended up being hot so yeah <laughs> but useful piece to have nonetheless my final essential for the transitional season is a good old trusty black bag i haven't been wearing my black bags a huge amount over summer this one has got quite a bit of wear to be fair um but this time of year, when I start wearing more blacks, when I start wearing more neutrals, as you can see, I've clearly gone straight into the neutrals now. Um, the colour is kind of fading away. I do actually think I will be wearing a bit more colour this season, but it's just not going to be like in your face colours. It's going to be like drips and drops, you know? Anyway, I'm going off on a tangent here. Um, black bags are so, so good for like the transitional season or taking your outfits from like summer to winter. Because I personally see black as a winter colour, not so much a summer colour. And um, I find this is when I start getting the most wear out of my black bags. Um, this is obviously my Balenciaga baby. I do love her. She is beautiful not really much more to say about her i love her um and i haven't worn her in ages because she's not very summery to me she's definitely a winter gal and i got her out last night and i'm very happy i did because she's so pretty and i'm buzzing for it this one you've definitely seen many a time um this is from by far um a, not the cheapest bags that i'm showing you but i really do believe in spending a good amount of money on a bag especially if you're gonna wear it a lot um this is my by far baby as i said she's got a nice little girl she's see she's different vibes she's like edgy girl she's like classic put together chic edgy girl i don't even know if, if that makes any sense but anyway um yeah, I love her. She's great. I love the slouchy vibe of this. It's definitely more casual. Um, whereas this one is definitely more structured, a little bit more smart. Um, so I love me a black bag. Black bags you can't go wrong with. You don't need to spend a lot of money on them, obviously. But I just wanted to show you my two favourites because these bags I think I'll probably get the most wear out of um in the next coming months you'll probably see them a lot in all of my outfits so yeah that is everything i have to show you today i hope you enjoyed this video let me know if there's any other essentials that you might think that i've missed out on in the comments and we can chat about it i will do another one of these when we get more closer to autumn um like actual being cold because it's not that cold at the moment <laughs> um i'm just really excited about autumn content so yeah anyway i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will catch you all in my next one